Yeah, that's right. So Friday of this week is going to mark one month since uh, marijuana has been uh, for sale recreationally here in Connecticut. It is a new industry. And with that, of course, comes a learning curve on what is legal and what is, well, still not. You'll only see it on Fox 61. So it must have been like a traveling pot truck, basically. That's crazy. The van Naugatuck police seized. Oh, the vehicle was parked up at Walmart. Uh, we started getting several complaints. The men police arrested Stanley Livingston of Bridgeport and James Brown of New York, charging both with money laundering, among other things, for dispensing marijuana and CBD products illegally out of this van to customers at the Walmart parking lot without any license or permits. It's pretty blatantly obvious uh, what they were soliciting, what they were selling. The Rollaholic Mobile Dispensary was a regular deal on wheels. The van has Connecticut plates, but the number just rings and says no voicemail has been set up. Well, that's a dead giveaway. I think that's absolutely insane that someone would be doing that in a Walmart parking lot. With it being legal and everything now, I, I thought something like this would eventually happen. I just didn't think it would be this early. Naugatuck town officials telling Fox 61 that while they obviously don't condone illegal activity, they welcome the legal marijuana industry and just created zoning rules to regulate it, including not allowing retail shops within 500 feet of each other or any schools, playgrounds or parks. I liken it back to what it was like in the 40s and the 50s when Liquor started being out there with stores and, and whatnot in bars and restaurants. Who knows what, what the cannabis is going to be in the future, uh, but it is here. You can't prevent it from coming into your town, even if you banned it. So we're looking at it's a potential revenue source for the community and a re revenue source for the town. And as for those two men who were arrested in this incident, they're going to both appear in court next month, but they have since been released on bond. I also talked today with the State Department of Consumer Protection, who told me that here in Connecticut, there are no permits or licenses that would allow anybody to legally sell marijuana out of a van. We're live here in front of the Naugatuck Police Department. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.